Hi guys, welcome to Brett and Lena's Healthy Go My Bits. This is going out to a Rebecca Hetrick in Boise, Idaho had a question. She wants to know how she could cook a gluten-free or dairy-free recipe. And my favorite is a quiche. So I'm gonna go ahead and address that with this gluten-free spinach quiche. So what we'll do, starting off with, I have in the bowl, I actually cracked six egg whites and added one yolk. To this, I'll add a splash of the, uh, a dairy-free silk coconut milk, a little splash, like that. okay. I'm gonna mix this all up a little bit here. In the meantime, I'll add a little Mrs. Dash to it as well. A little Mrs. Dash in there. And you want some, a little bit of pepper. And then we'll give it a nice quick whip here, a little whisk, you know, mixed up really well. Behind me, I have uh, the large skillet. A lot of you love that large skillet. We're gonna be using this one today to cook that quiche in. It's preheated, I always wanna stress this. Always have these skillets, no matter what you're using, whether it's the uh, saute or the skillet, always have them preheated. It's gonna make your life a whole lot easier when you drop that food inside there. All right, we got that going. Let's add a little olive oil and butter to the skillet. I'll drop a little butter inside there. To that, I'll add a little olive oil as well. You don't need a lot, just put a little drizzle inside there. Get that warmed up, we work it evenly to coat that pan. Okay, I'm gonna make sure y'all can see this. You wanna get that olive oil and butter completely mixed together. Like that, and then what I'm gonna do, drop the egg in there. Remember, have that olive oil in there first, a nice warm. And turn it up to medium high now. Gas range, I'm at number four, about four and a half. Okay, let that get heated up. We're gonna drop in some red peppers. And then we'll add our spinach to that. And I'll top it off with a little bit of onion as well. So let's go ahead and drop the egg in there first. Nice hot pan. Okay. Now to that, I want to add the spinach. Before I do that though, let's add that, let's cut that onion up. So let's pull out the cutter, lock that cutter down. Okay, we're gonna grab our number two cone, lock it on. Take the onion, uh, let's do this one here. I'm gonna wedge this onion, let's go for it. Right on top, okay? Turn the handle, a nice fresh shredded onion inside. There, turn the handle just in a couple turns. Pull that skin out. We'll take the shredded onion. We're gonna drop that right on top of those eggs like this. Okay. Forgot to mention, make sure that oven, we're gonna put this inside of our broiler. So I have my broiler on right now on low. Okay, when I get everything in here that I want, I'll take the entire pan, stick it inside the oven, middle rack broiler for about five minutes, okay? So we have the eggs going, we have our onion. Then what I do next is add my spinach. Uh, about a cup. Just throw that spinach on top, the onion, spinach. Three quarters cup of red pepper. And then I want to add some cheddar cheese. So again, let's go back to the cutter. Tap it out. Lock on that two cone. I'm going to use a little bit of cheddar on top. When you use your cheddar cheese, you can set it like this or like that, okay? And you wanna give it a couple turns, just like this. A nice fresh cheddar cheese. And then what I'll do, I'll take that cheese and just sprinkle it right on top of everything. Like this, on top. Let that egg cook a little bit longer, a couple minutes. About two minutes, five minutes total here and maybe three or four minutes total there, and that meal's gonna be done, okay? Take this entire skillet, okay? I'm gonna set it inside the oven. I got my, have my brother on low. I'm set it right here in the medium rack like this, okay? And give that about three to five minutes max. Take it out, cut it up, and we'll be ready to eat it. All right, that's the three to five minutes. Now, always remember, hot pan means hot handle. So either grab your little uh, oven mitt or a towel, something to, when you pull this out because the handles are hot, okay? 
And then I'm going to go ahead and set it here. Grab my little spatula here. Get in there with that spatula. Flip it over like that. Okay. And we're going to give it a nice cut. Now here's what your pan's going to look like. I'm going to set this pan back on the burner. I get asked all the time, how do you clean the cookware? Set this back on the burner, put a little bit of water inside there. And when you go to clean it out, use a little dish soap or the barkeeper's friend. A sponge wipes out perfectly every single time. Remember, olive oil, butter, both makes your life a whole lot easier when you go clean this out. Set it back on the burner. I'm going to keep that burner on low. Keep it warm. And now I want to take this quiche and just roll it up. Depends how hungry you are, you can get four slices or cut it again to get uh, six to eight. Put that on a plate. A little parsley on top if you want, and then get a little pepper. And if you are a saltaholic, I suggest cutting it back. <laughs> in the meantime, put a little pinch of Himalayan that's fine, or sea salt, or kosher. Done. So if you were checking your watch or your clock, that was probably, again, about seven minutes. So if you have any questions about these recipes, you know how to get a hold of us, and we're here for you 24-7, 365. I hope you learned something new today, and we'll look forward to seeing you the next time. Uh, Brett and Lena's Healthy Gourmet Vitamins. See you then. So now we have, I've added a little water to it. It was sitting on the burner. Pour that water out. Grab yourself a little bit of a, there we go, barkeeper's friend. This is a liquid form. Get the powder liquid, it works fine. Just a little, little shot in there like that. You don't need a lot. And then I'm going to use the green side of the scotch Bright sponge, dampen it up a little bit, get in there. You could also use that spatula if you want to loosen it up a little bit more. Egg here. And then I'll add a little dish soap to it. I should dish soap. And get that water ready. There we go.